it gives you access to so much of power it's you know it's everything like i said i had imagined it to be so i mean you know in a span of 20 20 days i think since i won the election um i have been uh, able to change lives in health in education in police uh, in land related issues um i think every sphere that you can think of so politics is just far more reach far reaching than much any other profession that I've been in, I, you know, because I've been a lawyer and I've also been an entrepreneur and I think our scope is very limited there. But being a, a politician, I think I've grown up seeing my mother and this is always something that I aspire to be and it's exactly what I want to do, to do and I do it every day and it's very satisfying. So Okay, there could be pictures of you partying, there could be pictures of you in a dress, there could be pictures of you with a swimsuit, there could be pictures of you in, a, uh, in shorts. But I wanted to tell my constituents that this is what I am and this is what my private life is because I wear certain clothes or I behave in a particular manner in my private life. That does not mean it affects my public life. So that had to be very clear. And Politics is something that you uh, most people approach very conservatively, unlike most professions. I mean, in other professions, I think there's a bit of deviation that is allowed, but not so much in politics. About two years ago, when uh, my daughter's uh, uh, birthday, and um, I had taken to some of her friends, um, you know, to a coffee estate and we were having a birthday. We had a small birthday party get together. And next day I had uploaded pictures. I was wearing jeans and a big branded belt uh, on my <laughs> jeans. And I was called by one of my senior colleagues, a woman, and she said that, oh my God, like, you know, that you wore this. I said, I'm sorry, like I had a call at six in the morning. I said, I'm sorry, this is what I am. And I'm going to tell. I, I wear that with pride. I'm like, I'm extremely happy about the way I am and there's nothing for me to hide. I the reservation has to come in because if you see the Panchayat Raj, I mean that 50% reservation, it is not a rhetoric. I mean, we are, I'm telling you, I'm not just speaking because it's there or it's not theoretical. It is for real. Women have been empowered by giving that 50% reservation, you know, to represent uh, their constituents at the Gram Panchayat level, at the Jilla Panchayat level and Taluk Panchayat level that will definitely, that 33% reservation irrespective of whether that they are a spouse or whether they are a sister, whether they are a daughter at the end of the day it's a woman who is going to come into politics so let's support that cause, it's very important, you have to start somewhere